Children in social care are some of the most vulnerable people in society. There are many complex situations which lead to a child ending up in social care or no longer being able to live with their families. Sometimes it's because of the short-term illness of a parent or because of temporary situation in the family. But often the issues that result in a child requiring alternative care are more serious or long-term. These are the top four reasons in the UK. It's really important that when we remove children from circumstances such as these, that they receive the care that they deserve. Foster care provides children with a home while they're unable to live with their own families. And this is the most common type of social care. These children, whether it's, for an, whether it's overnight, for a couple of weeks, or for a number of years, these children are placed with carers who can provide them with the support and the stability in a safe, loving environment that can make huge difference to their childhoods. Independent fostering agencies are the bodies, organizations that oversee these homes and ensure that these children are receiving the care that they deserve. Our partner, Ofsted, is the organization that performs the vital function of overseeing this relationship between agencies, homes, and children, and ensuring that those agencies have all the support they need in perform performing their role. Ofsted achieves this by regulating and inspecting these agencies, and currently they inspect these agencies every three years. Due to limited resources, Ofsted inspectors are assigned to a number of agencies, and for these agencies, they receive incoming information through notifications, which are mandatory messages that agencies send Ofsted when an event, event relating to a child occurs, such as a child getting injured, or if an organizational change occurs, such as a new manager being hired within the agency. They also perform these three yearly inspections where they go and physically visit the premises and ensure that the quality is high. However, offset inspectors are receiving tons of information and sometimes that's distributed across multiple systems, making it hard for any one person to digest all this information. And so, although an inspector could decide to move this, this three-year inspection forward in time, often there's so much data coming in that it's hard to know which agencies that might be necessary for. And in the case that this is done, it's because something has already occurred, such as a notification being received that could be considered serious. And the sooner that Offset's able to reach these agencies that require additional support and oversight, the easier it is to tackle the issues that they are facing. And so Offset approached us and together we tackled some of these issues by building a, building a system that allows them to sooner find those agencies which have the greatest need for additional support and oversight. And thereby, we ensure that all children receive the greatest foster care at all times. We were able to build this model because we were using a, over a decade's worth of various data sources, such as the past inspections, these incoming notifications, annual surveys, changes in management, <coughs> to learn from these judgments and past experience of Ofsted's inspectors. And using such a model, we can summarize this huge amount of incoming data, both historical and this like, present incoming flow of information, to provide Ofsted with a prioritized list of agencies that we think should be visited sooner, thereby acting as an early warning system to allow them to be more proactive in seeing the agencies that require their help most. If Ofsted currently inspects 70 agencies and finds that 10 of those do not meet their standards, with the model that we developed, we look at all agencies and all data for all those agencies, prioritize a list, and using the same number of resources, we inspect 70 and find 19 that would require additional help. Thereby finding, so, sorry, we find 19 and we find nine additional that could use that support. And with a median of 50 children per agency, this means that over six months, 450 children are, are with carers who are providing the, the exact right care and quality of support that they need. And over the, long time, over the long term, what this means is that by efficiently allocating inspectors where the improvement is needed most, we can ensure that foster agencies are providing the essential functions of training, supporting these foster carers. 
And above all, this means that children have better outcomes and that we can ensure better childcare across England. My name is Annika, and this summer I've had the great pleasure of working with Joby, Viviana, Jared, Josh, Adolfo, and our partners at Ofsted. We're super excited about the work that we've done, and we hope that you come and speak to us afterwards. Thank you. <coughs>